Based in the vibrant city of Bath, Bath City Football Club are often overlooked by Bath Rugby. But today, we are turning our attention to the Vanarama National League South Playoff contenders to see what makes non-league football so special. So, how long have you been involved in Bath, uh, Bath City? Um, it's about 17 years now. Um, uh, so, can you give us a quick rundown of the club? Uh, well, basically, we play in the National League South. Uh, we've been in this division now for five years, I think, having got relegated from the one above. Uh, we won the Southern League in 2006-07 to get promoted to the National League, which is where we, we feel we should be in playing at this level of football. How long have you been a fan at Bath City? Well, it's getting on for 30 years now. I, I came to a few games when I first came to Bath in the very early 90s, but the first real game when I got properly hooked was away to Cardiff in the FA Cup, which I think was in 1992 when we won, and I've been a fan ever since. What's best about being a Bath City fan? For me, it's because I live here. This is my city and, the, and it's my local team and I really enjoy supporting my local team. So, how long have you been work, uh, playing at Bath City? Uh, this is my fifth season at the club. Uh, originally, never really thought I'd be here for five years. And I travelled out, I travelled up from Cornwall, so uh, yeah, fifth year now. I really enjoyed it and, and hoping to, to maybe spend another year here next year. What makes playing for Bath City so special? Uh, I think you look at the tradition here, it's got a great, great history. Uh, the fans here are fantastic. Uh, the, the lads here are brilliant. We've played, played with numerous good players um, and obviously playing at the standard that we play at. It's, it's just a great club to be at. Uh, so, what do you believe makes non-league football so special? I think it's about the interaction between the fans and, and the players and, and the people who run the club. We're all together, we're all part of the club, and it's a good atmosphere and a good mix. So why should you come and watch your, non your local non-league club? Because it's a good standard of football. And not only at this level, but all levels of non-league football are good. Uh, I think with what's happened in the Premier League and the Championship now, there are better players playing at all levels. Uh, the standard of football's better, and it's a really enjoyable thing to do on a Saturday afternoon. What gives non-league football the edge over league football? Yeah, that's a good question. I feel that there is a, a relationship between the fans and, and the club, which I don't, I don't think you get in league football. I'm actually a, a West Ham fan as, a, as well uh, from childhood, and I never felt that I knew anything about the players or knew anything about the history of the club really particularly. So um, it, it's very special being a fan of non-league. Uh, what's your favourite moment in a Bath City shirt? I think if you go back a few seasons, we, we had a great run in the, in the FA Trophy. Uh, got very, very close to making the final, got to the semi-final. Unfortunately, lost that over two legs, but the run, run that year was brilliant. We knocked out, I think, three conference clubs. Uh, probably the highlight was winning away at Bristol Rovers 2-0. Uh, a great, great moment in front of a lot of fans. So, yeah, yeah that's probably our, our shining moment with, with me and the club. Every team has history, some good, some bad. We're now going to be taking a look at what gives Bath City Football Club their historical status. Um, so, can you give us a run-through of Bath City's history? Well, the club was actually formed in um, 1889, so we've already celebrated 125 years. Um, we've been at Twerton Park since 1932, so it's our traditional home now for a long time. Um, the club's had a uh, good history, it was playing at the top level of non-league football, which is what the National League is now, for a long time. Uh, almost got promoted to the Football League in 1978, but were outvoted and Wigan got elected. And they've gone on to bigger and better things. Um, but usually been at the top level, always had a good fan base, and um, are well respected and known in the non-league circuit. What would you say is Bath City's most iconic piece of history? Um, Probably it's FA Cup runs, I think. I mean, we have won the, the Southern League uh, three times, um, but I think the F FA Cup history of actually beating quite a few football league clubs, uh, the most recent one was Grimsby Town, um, but before that we won at Cardiff City, um, and we've beaten quite a few league clubs over the years. Um, do you believe Bath City could go on to create better history? Yes, I mean, there's always, there's always something to better. I mean, we almost did it a few years ago. Uh, we've never had a very good run in the FA Trophy, but we managed to get through to the semi-finals. Unfortunately, lost on penalties over two legs and uh, were one, one or two kicks away from being at Wembley. 
what do you believe has been Bath City's most important piece of history and where were you, where you were there to experience it? Um, that's interesting. I, I suppose it must have been when we went up to the higher division from the one that we're in now for, for, for two years. For me, that was very, very significant. Playing a lot of ex-league sides, I don't go back far enough to, 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 to have experienced the um, early 60s when we had some very big attendances here and, and so on. So f for me that was very, very special, short-lived though it was. Do you feel that the history of the club has an impact on how passionate you are? Um, I think it has a, 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 a small effect. It, it's very nice to think that the club has been here for a very, very long time, um, over a hundred years, I, I believe. Um, Bath City has been in, in existence, so I, I, I think so. Yes. Hmm. Do you think Bath City can go on to achieve more than they already have? Yes, I definitely do. Um, I, th I think we could be comfortable in the higher division. Do you feel like, as a player? should have been involved in any of the club's major pieces of history? Uh, I think obviously that was one of the, the, the main key things that we've we've done over the last five years. That was a, a real good highlight, but you go back over the years, the, the club's got great tradition. They've, they've had numerous FA Cup runs, uh, and that's one thing that I'd love to do here is make the first round of the FA Cup, which I haven't managed to do as of yet, but we've come very, very close, and hopefully they'll make that in the next few years. Do you think that the club could go on to create even better achievements? Absolutely, yeah, I think you look around the club at the minute and it's, it's definitely going places. Uh, you know, the, the way the club's run now is slightly different. There's, there's obviously a lot of movement with the, the progression with the ground. Um, and obviously in a, in a couple of years' time this, this place will look a lot different, I think, and that will hopefully give the club a, a foothold into to promotion and trying to be successful going forward. Football will be nothing without the fans, and non-league football is no different. They pay their hard-earned money to come and watch their team, and now we're going to be finding out how much of an impact they have on people within the club. So, how do the fans impact your job in a positive way? Well, since last May, we're now a community-owned club. In fact, the supporters own the majority shareholding. So, in some respects, in a much bigger way than they used to. Uh, the important thing is the fans are always around. Um, they'll be popping in during the week. Uh, either because they're collecting our lotto or they're paying something else or buying a season ticket. There's always an interaction. Uh, we are a good away support. There's a good number of regulars who go to nearly every away game. Uh, and our support is good at Twitten Park. So um, what do the fans mean to you? Well, effectively, they're the lifeblood. Without the fans, there wouldn't be a football club. I know we need the players, but you know, you could have a squad playing football out there, but if no one turns up to watch, there isn't any, any interaction, nothing at all. Do you think you and the rest of the fans have an impact on the team? Yes, I do, definitely. I, I believe that the players know that they're well supported. I, I certainly, at away games, I, I think they know that they have a following there and I think it, 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 it affects them and I think it makes them want to play for this club. Do you think there is any difference between non-league fans and league fans and if so, what? I'm not sure about that. Essentially we're all football fans, as I've said already. Bath are a non-league side, Bath are my local side, that's why I, I, I support them. I, I'm a follower of England and of, um, well, I have watched West Ham a lot when I was younger, so no, not really. Do you agree that some football fans just go to matches to cause trouble? I think that may have been the case in the past. I never experience anything like that nowadays and I'm very pleased that that's the case. How do the fans impact you and your teammates? I think you look at the travel, the away travel is amazing. 
there's a, there's a really good stat I think this year where wherever we go, the, the the teams that we play always have the the highest capacity when we attend, and that's just a testament to the to the guys that make the journey every week. Uh, obviously Friday we had a bad one with going to Welling um, and the game being called off a few minutes before the the game started, but still we had a coach load there ready to attend. Uh, obviously when we're here we get very very good crowds and. Um, we just, you know, we've been, we've not been the best at home this season, and that's obviously something we'll try and get right in the last few games, and hopefully start them with a win here today. But now the crowd and the fans are absolutely fantastic. Does a good away back in help the team play, play better? Definitely, yeah. As I just mentioned, obviously we get really good away back in. That uh, they do obviously make a, when we're, especially when we're winning, they make a great racket behind whichever goal we're attacking. And obviously scoring goals when we're, we are scoring goals and celebrating with them is a great feeling for, for players, staff and, and fans. Um, do you have a match day routine? Uh, yeah, obviously I travel quite a long way, so it takes me about two and a half hours to get here. So I'll normally leave for a home game about 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, I normally travel up with my dad and have a bit of pre-match meal about quarter to 12. Arrive at the ground about one o'clock, have a little look around, see what the pitch is like. Uh, and then we'll normally have sort of a team talk with the gaffer at about half past one and then I'll normally get a rub by the physio at sort of quarter to one, two o'clock um, just loosen myself off after the journey and then we'll come out quarter past two for a warm up uh, do a little bit of uh, sort of a, a pulse raiser stretches and we'll do a little bit of skill stuff finish with strikers and a bit of finishing and then we have our final bits and pieces team talk about the opposition sort of ten to three and then yeah out ready for the game so yeah we do, we do prepare really well um, and hopefully we're then ready for the match to start. Different people prepare for football matches in different ways. Players have good luck rituals and fans go to the pub. Let's find out what our guests do before a match. So do you have a match day routine? Yeah, it's a regular routine really. Um, what we have to make sure is to do the finance as well as the football side of it is to make sure that all the floats are done for the turnstiles and the bars, uh, make sure everyone's got the paperwork they need to uh, deal with the number of fans that come through and make a record of it. Uh, I do the team sheet, so that has to be produced, given to the manager to hand in to the referee. Also has to be sent off to the press association. Uh, it has to be completed by the end of the game and then sent off uh, to the league. Uh, so those are all regular match day routines, as well as um, counting the money and making sure uh, it all works out. Do you have a match day routine? Uh, generally, um, I, I like to meet up with my friends. We normally have a, a beer in a, in a local pub. Um, we, we do something similar on away games. So, br broadly speaking, we have a routine, yes. Mm. Do you have a match day routine? Uh, yeah, obviously I travel quite a long way, so it takes me about two and a half hours to get here. So I'll normally leave for a home game about 10 o'clock in the morning. I uh, normally travel up with my dad and have a bit of pre-match meal about quarter to 12. Arrive at the ground about one o'clock, have a little look around, see what the pitch is like. Uh, and then we'll normally have sort of a team talk with the gaffer at about half past one. And then I'll normally get a rub by the physio at sort of quarter to one, two o'clock. Um, just loosen myself off after the journey. And then we'll come out quarter past two for a warm up, uh, do a little bit of uh, sort of a, a pulse raiser stretches, and we'll do a little bit of skill stuff, finish with strikers and a bit of finishing. And then we have our final bits and pieces team talk about the opposition sort of 10 to 3. And then, yeah, out ready for the game. So, yeah, we do, we do prepare really well. Um, and hopefully, we're then ready for the match to start. Thank you for watching this documentary. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not go down to your nearest non-league club and watch a game? They'll really appreciate every bit of support they get. <laughs>